Hi, and welcome to getting started with AWS IoT SiteWise. My name is Dave Malone, and I am an IoT solutions architect for AWS. SiteWise is a managed service that makes it easy to collect, organize, visualize, and analyze data from industrial equipment at scale. Industrial equipment produces a lot of data. SiteWise lets you liberate that data and connect it to the cloud, unlocking powerful use cases. You can use SiteWise to monitor operations across facilities, quickly compute common industrial performance metrics, and create applications that analyze industrial equipment data across all your facilities to improve overall equipment effectiveness, or OEE. This video is the intro to a multi-part video series where I show you how to get started with SiteWise. In this video, we will cover asset creation, modeling, and mapping. Subsequent videos will cover how to ingest data. We will connect to an OPC UA server using a SiteWise gateway, configure it, and get data to flow. We'll also cover asset modeling, creating hierarchies, and defining metrics. And finally, the video series will dive into SiteWise Monitor, a no-code web application that enables you to visualize and interact with your operational data. Here's what it looks like from end to end. As we walk through this demo, we will use the example of a manufacturing company producing widgets. We will have a few machines. We will call these asset widgets machines on the production line. These widget machines, in our example, have a few scenarios that will send data for temperature and vibration which we can use to predict quality or predict maintenance needs. Keep in mind, this could easily be a wind farm, a food processing plant, or a number of other industrial use cases. You may have different assets and your sensors or machines may have different outputs, but the concepts you see here will largely be the same. And while we will be connecting to an OPC UA server, SiteWise also supports data ingestion using AWS IoT Core rules to upload data via MQTT messages, as well as the SiteWise APIs to upload your data directly from other sources. To get started, first we'll go into the AWS IoT SiteWise console. When you first visit the SiteWise console, we provide a lot of different resources including a demo with temporary assets and data so you can play around and get comfortable. Right below that, you'll see a module for ingesting data. I'll cover that in the next video, where we'll walk through the process of ingesting data from an OPC UA server through a Greengrass SiteWise gateway. But before we do that, we'll walk through some simple asset creation and modeling. This will help us so that when we do start ingesting data into SiteWise, there will be a starting asset model already set up. What this means is that we'll create a virtual representation of our facilities and physical assets. You have a facility, and inside that facility are perhaps production lines, and within that production line are machines, and within those machines are different sensors. It's creating that hierarchy digitally. Click on Create a New Model on the right-hand navigation menu. This opens up a page where you can create models and configure the attributes, measurements, transforms, metrics, and hierarchies. Models are structures that standardize the format of your assets. They ensure there is consistent information across assets of the same type so that you can process data in assets that represent groups of devices. To get started, We'll only fill out a few of these, and we'll come back to add details later once we have data flowing. For now, we'll just create our model name and call it Widget Machines so that we can move on and create assets within the model. From your model page, you will see the status of your model right in the center of the page. It can take some time for the model to become active. If yours has an error message, please see the SiteWise documentation for troubleshooting steps. 
Now scroll to the bottom of the model page and click Create Asset. In our scenario, our assets will be widget machines. And since I have multiple, I will name this asset Widget Machine 1. Each asset requires a unique name. Naming best practices are to name your assets so that it's easily identifiable and understandable by you and your colleagues. We'll skip tags for now and click Create Asset. I'll go ahead and create two more widget machine assets for our example. Now you can see on the left hand column here my three assets, widget machine 1, 2, and 3, and can navigate to each of them by simply clicking on their name. I can also go back to my model page by clicking on the model name in the details. So right now in my virtual representation of my factory, I have three machines. Now we have created a model, assets that fit within that model, and got started with asset tagging. In the next video, we will connect SiteWise to an OPC UA server, configure it, and see data flow into our assets.